guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Parkitect and Willow Creek Park. This is part four of our build here in our sort of realistic theme park with a kind of budget conscious mindset ish. So that's, that's the part we're doing here. It's a brand new series that we're doing alongside all our Planet Coaster stuff and also our Planet Zoo stuff. So if this is the kind of content you like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our content. So on to today then. So the first thing we're doing in here is putting in a new building just to the right of the main entrance sort of plaza entrance area. Um, all this is going to have inside is just a few tables and chairs and a couple of new food options. I think we put burgers, Chinese and hot dogs in there. Uh, we also expand the infrastructure out by putting in a new um, depot building just behind this one. And then we put in our first underground staff path that links it all up into one um, nice easy accessible staff area so again we are really thinking about that staff and infrastructure and, and the utilities side of things in this park um, and making sure everything is hidden nicely so we do put in this little outdoor courtyard we fence it in and make it look nice for the guest perspective and the next thing that we get onto in today's episode is we put in a brand new ride and we also expand out our, our brand new area that we put in uh, previously so the waterfront area where we put in the paddle boats and uh, we do expand that out a little bit we make a new beach tropical area and we put in our first main ride in the park which is going to be a log flume and um, so that's what we work on today so we, uh, by the end of this video we do put in the majority of the theming around the log flume the layout is done and we just put in the station building and the queue line so um, what I do need from you guys is a name for the log flume. So like I say, it's a tropical theme. Um, so you'll see that as we get towards the end of this video. So if you've got any ideas for names for a tropical style log flume, um, please drop them down in the comments below and let me know. I'm not very good at names. So the best one will be chosen and we will name that ride. So that's what we're doing in this episode. Like I said, mainly focusing on the tropical area, which we are um, kind of expanding from the waterfront. And there'll be a couple more rides in this uh, this area, uh, branching out sort of to the right hand side as you get to the um, the, the sort of main um, lake, I guess the pond, the lake in the middle of the park. Um, so we, this is branching out to the right, as you'll see, like I said, in a couple of minutes' time. So just putting the final finishing touches on this building, and um, just a few little details. Uh, I think I will go back to some of these buildings uh, eventually and just put a few more bits and pieces on them, give them uh, a bit more depth and just make them look a little bit nicer. Um, but generally, most of the buildings down that main street are now in and we've got a lot of shops and restaurants and food options and stuff like that. So generally, we are pretty much there. So in terms of the log flume, it's only got a couple of uh, drops on it. One main one, which comes down towards um, the guests as they walk past to so give you that kind of uh, really good view of the ride. I and mean, it kind of interlocks with itself a couple of times and uh, it does have two lift hills. Um, so I think in total we put three drops in, two little ones and then the one big one. So that's generally the idea for this ride. Um, it's nothing too spectacular in terms of its theming. Um, we may put in a indoor area to the back of the, uh, the, the circuit. Um, I don't do that in this episode but I think I might put that in. Um, just at one at some point. It won't be a dark ride section because we can't you can't really do much into sort of inside theming in this game. Um, but we might just put in a little sort of building so it goes through something like a cabin type thing. Uh, just to give it a, a little bit of difference in the layout. Um, in terms of this front section just here, um, it is built up with a bit of rock work into the path to make it sort of blend in nicely and this is how it transitions into a kind of tropical area uh, using a lot of the rock work that we started around the lake in the last episode well the last couple of episodes um, and like I said this expands it a little bit more uh, we do change the terrain as we go through to make this whole area um, feel like it's quite sandy we start introducing some tropical trees like um, you'll see you'll see in a few minutes like palm trees and stuff like that and we start adding around here as well as a few of the little bushes so, so it does tie everything nicely together uh, and, and, and so this is our first lightly themed area in the park the main money on this bit uh, the park would have been spent on the rock work um, as you'll see there's some quite big rocks to be put in around the circuit 
So all in all, it's not the most themed area that anyone's ever made, and that's the kind of angle we're going to go for in this park. Um, that it's got, like I say, it is budget conscious. We are thinking about budgets, uh, and it's not going to have sort of high-end money spent on it. So uh, yeah, the main thing. Imagine these are probably like fiberglass rocks, uh, the sort that you can find around the world. Um, inspiration for the log flume, surprisingly, for anyone in the UK who can even remember, it used to be a theme park called American Adventure, which was uh, located in Derbyshire. It did close a few years back, but it was one of my sort of favourite parks growing up as a kid. They used to have a really, really good log flume, um, which kind of inter entwined with a runaway mine train. Um, I think at one point it was the tallest log flume either in the world or in the UK. Uh, at least for us for a time and that used to have this kind of fake rock work so from the outside it looked really good and um, from on the ride inside it looked really naff because it was kind of just um, sort of like a metal framework where you could see all the workings and everything inside so uh, it's that kind of janky nature that I'm going for with this uh, and that's the kind of idea and that's like I say where we're taking the inspiration from with this uh, log flume um, so just to fi put the finishing touches on this, I'll, I'll, put, uh, I'll leave you with a, a little bit of music as we do in these uh, Park Tech episodes uh, and I'll come back at the end. So don't forget to think about some names for this ride. Uh, and yeah, like I said I'll be back towards the end of this video just to sign off.
Right guys, that's going to do us for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll leave you with a few little shots from Pete's perspective. Um, just so you can get a good look of uh, what it looks like from the ground. So, like I say, get those names in, please, for this ride. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to give us a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our content. Fancy a chat, head over to Twitter or Discord. Uh, and if you want to help us out, you can do that by going to our Patreon page. All the links are down below in the description. But for now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.